Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, or ADHD, is usually diagnosed with the input of parents and teachers who've observed a child's behavior. Tisha Powell has details now about a new FDA-approved objective test that takes the guesswork out of diagnosing and treating ADHD. It may look like 17-year-old Lindsay Andrews is playing a video game, but the great Hope Jr. is actually taking a test for ADHD. It's called the Quotient ADHD System, a new objective way to screen patients for the disorder. Until now, doctors relied heavily on parents and teachers to point out inattention, hyperactivity, and impulsive behavior in children. The Quotient is a quantitative measure of these, uh, uh, these primary concerns. It actually monitors how much movement the child is making while trying to stay focused on the test. A motion tracking system measures a patient's movement while he or she attempts to focus on rapidly changing shapes on a screen, pressing the space bar when they see a certain one. It actually measures how well they're responding uh, accurately and how impulsively they're making mistakes during the period of time that the uh, study is being done. That information then goes into a data bank along with the results of more than 48,000 others who've taken the test. It helps make the diagnosis. It helps determine when I choose a medication, how well that medication is working. For Lindsay, an ADHD diagnosis and medication have made a big difference in her life, academically and socially. Even just when we're kind of hanging out, um, I'm kind of able to stay on the topics that they're um, talking about because sometimes I would just kind of zone out and I'd be like, no, wait, what? what are you talking about? She now has her sight set on good grades and cosmetology school. So now I can kind of live up to what I know I can be. Tisha Powell reporting over four and a half million children in the U.S. are affected by ADHD and early diagnosis and treatment are key to their future success. 727-52 outside.